Sauren Tönen. <lacht> That's obnoxious. So, uh, slept pretty good last night. It's foggy outside, like it has been a few days before. We'll start on main today, that'll be fun. Been in the first city of Maine, York, for less than 15 minutes and already you just see boats and lobster advertisements for his far as the eye can see this is my first impression of the state and it's about what I expected to be honest <laughs> this cool little dam here about to go over what's dubbed as potentially the world's smallest suspension bridge that'll be uh, fascinating let's get a shot of this beach and this dam for all the viewers Here's the second thing on the main list. We're at a main diner. Gonna get a lobster pie for breakfast. And I've seen online that Guy Fieri um, actually joined the kitchen staff to help create some of these sometime ago. I don't, I've never um, watched his stuff, but that's a neat fact for all you fans of Guy Fieri, if there are any. All right, got my order in. Guide number 53. And they actually gave me a blueberry and muffin along with the order too, so it's cool to knock out two things at once, lobster and blueberries. Woo! Anybody notice that continuity issue when I come into the car and grab this thing instead of have this with me right before? This thing scared me to death. I was like, thank you for waiting. Please return to the diner for seating. <laughs> That's, that's very scary. No continuity errors this time. Let's see what we got here. It's a big bag. I opened it the wrong way. It's a box. A bunch of napkins. Don't need this anymore. It's the biggest blueberry muffin I've ever seen. Mm. Maine puts in the hours. Like it's warm and it's fresh. You can tell they actually like made it and didn't you know like stock it over. A couple weeks, they probably did. I don't know how the process works. We got the main course here. This can go back there. Um, ah. Open. 
Open a sesame. Ah, this way. Oh, you don't even see anything. That's a pretty small lobster pie, if I'm being completely honest. All right. There you go. I thought this would take up, like, a lot more space. Whatever. Mmm. Fresh, just picked from the broccoli tree. This is dangerous to have this stand up like this. But, oh, crumbs are already spilling. So what I'm thinking is, you just take the fork and you just mush it all around. I'm guessing all of this is edible, including this like skin part. Like even though that looks like a lobster's skin. Camera, you really just gotta, sometimes you just gotta focus on bits that are important. Oh, and just like that camera, you wasted a good three dollars. So my thinking is, you know, you just, anything is edible including this part that looks like this lobster skin. It's edible, right? Mm -hmm. It's edible and it's good. Now, I've had a lobster once before this and thought it was really kind of like a, I don't know, meaty, chewy, um, not sweet, I don't know, I don't, I don't know the terms. This tastes like, you know, like a lobster chicken. What a delight. Now we're gonna go to the city Kennebunk and Kennebunk Port. Both those names, they sound like a kid who you just wanna punch really hard. Ah, oh, it's Kennebunk's back and then you just deck him. This is a funny attraction. They call it the Wedding Cake House. You probably see why. paint is chipping, they do need a new coat soon. But nevertheless, it does indeed look like a wedding cake. This stuff seagrass. Feels like a lot of hair. The sea hair, seagrass, mutant stuff was not meant to be walked on. Destination is on the left. Thanks, Matt. Now here in Saco, Maine at Ferry Beach State Park, the weather's looking a lot prettier. Uh, not as many clouds, if any, here, and that's beautiful. As opposed to that stupid fog that's been following us since like New York. Into it. <laughs> That's obnoxious.
Haven't seen any bears or foxes yet. Makes me kind of sad. It'd make a great addition to the vlog. It'd spice things up a bit. Neat little island out there. You can kind of see a few lighthouses out in the distance. One's like, oh, whoa, hands, fingers big. One's right there. Other one's like right here. Truly is neat. You got beach right there. Then you got a lake over here. And then you got woods back there. What a strange conundrum. We just got here inside Portland at Fort Williams Park. We're gonna see the Portland Head Lighthouse in a bit. But where you where you park, this is just stunning, the views here. This is what I wanted to see back in Kenny Bunk. And what was the first city? Yale. York. Check this out. Just my height. Imagine having to live right here.
What city is this? Yarmouth. Now we're here in Yarmouth and May ah. Now we're here in Yarmouth, Maine, here to see Eartha. It's the largest rotating globe in the world. That'd be nice. And then we'll go to something else. Believe it or not, we're actually going to another beach, even though I know all you see are trees. Yeah, it's, uh, one on Solomon Island, it's an empty beach no one goes to. About half a mile in, got this nice lush landscape area. Hey, son. Ooh, that's pretty. Hello. There really is nobody here. I feel like Christopher Columbus discovering new land. Sands the genocide and rape.
covenant to swipe down from dead. Cool. Just got past the gate there. Now I'm going to try and find a Walmart nearby and start on the second part of Maine tomorrow. First day went by pretty fast, I'd say. A lot of fun stuff. A lot of fun to be had. These stupid mosquitoes, all of them need to burn. Uh, about a third of the way through Maine. Have my uh, headset in, so I'm making noise a bit louder than it probably should be. We'll start on Maine. To <laughs> well, we'll continue Maine tomorrow, and then just keep on trekking. I'm pretty tired, so sorry I'm not that upbeat. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be sure to go out, get you some honey buns. In North Carolina, they should be going for like 150. That's what we're getting them here for in Maine. Honey buns, really good stuff. Good fuel for the road, totally. All right, good night, bye.